All right, now comes snort. We're gonna, at this particular instance, we're gonna want to download the latest version of snort and also a package of snort rules that are required. So we're first gonna go to downloads, or snort downloads. Latest version being 2.9.3.1. That's done. Now to get rules, you actually are going to have to sign in. If you don't have an account already, they're free. Signed in. Now we want to get rules. We're just going to get some of the registered user release. And we'll just grab 2931. Now those referenced here in the guide are 2923. So this is where we're going to have to be aware and make changes if we're going to copy and paste. Okay, the rules are downloaded. So first, we're going to get snored over there. Let's change into that directory. And untar that package here, change into that directory. Now compiling it here, there are a few other items we want to add. Still add the make and make install. Done. Next, we want to copy the default configuration file from the package into the etc wax snort directory. Now we need to edit the snort conf. And these are the changes we need to make. Uh, we just need to tell it exactly where the rule paths are. The search for var rule. There they are. User in WAC ETC. WAC snore, WAC rules. We also need to identify the white and blacklist rules. They're in the same places, WAC, DC, WAC, snort, WAC rules. Now, further down, we need to uncomment the unified to output line and remove no stamp, because that does not agree with Barnyard. Do a search for no stamp. There it is. So first of all, we need to uncomment this line and remove no stamp. That's done. Save the changes. Is the snort comp? Yes. Okay. And this is where it can be tricky because right now we're going to un uncompress and install the snort rules. Now the line, again, I com um, copied was for 2923. The rules we downloaded were 2931. Change into the new directory. We want to untar the rules. There they are, 2931. And remove the rest. Change that to 31. 
we need to create the empty black and white lists. And for the SID map configuration, Now, we can initially run Snort in the background, just to look for any errors, and we'll ensure that Snort is running properly. There it is. Snort is working, everything's good to go. We're gonna quit. Now, this next option is saying, you know, once you're satisfied, you can run the previous command, um, with the capital D option, and that'll launch it in daemon mode, have it running in the background, but we don't want to do that right now. Because continuing on, once we get to our, uh, we're going to create some scripts that'll automatically start, so we don't want to have it running in daemon mode right now. 